Hi, Summer here with the Pine River Library. Um, and today I'm gonna to be showing you from our Explorers Kit um, how to make your own compass. So this is really cool because if you get lost in the wilderness somewhere and you both have a little piece of metal and then something that's a bit magnetic to give it a magnetic field, you can actually make a short-term compass, which is awesome for all you survivalists out there. We're in Colorado. We should know how to make a compass if we're lost in the woods. So um, what you'll need is either a sewing pen or what I have here is a little paper clip. Um, I guess sometimes I'd be camping with a sewing, uh, sewing needle. Um, and what you're going to do, I just took a fridge magnet, is you are going to run the fridge magnet the same way. You really need to run it the exact same way each time along here to give it a magnetic pull. And what they say is like about 15 to 20 times. Um, I do it until I notice a pretty strong pull. So this is definitely attracted to the magnet. So I'm gonna do it a few more times just to make sure. Uh, so you make it float. I tried around with like a leaf and a few other natural materials, but they sunk pretty quickly. Um, so what I have here, which are these really cute little foam guys, some are robots, some are sea creatures. And I put a few through my, my thing here. So here is, um, and it's a little bit hard because this is like a little bit on the long side for what I'm dealing with, because what I'm going to put it into is this Petri dish with water in it. So those are included in your kit. So I wound around a few foam guys around this and I'm just making sure that my magnetic pole is really strong here. Some of the trouble with this is you want to make sure um, that it's floating um, and not sinking to the bottom because if it's sunk to the bottom then you're not really getting a good like read on the magnetism of this. Um, and I'm going to set it into the water. So I have it set in the water here um, and I want to give it some chance to like kind of move around and I have it bent up so that it's not quite so attached. Um, something here, sometimes it just wants to kind of stick to the sides. So what I do is I just keep on kind of nudging it off the sides um, and right now I kind of have a windy day and I'm just looking at where is the general direction that it's headed. And then I want to test this. I want to see like how well did this work? And there's a few different methods I tried when I was doing this. Um, this is the end that I magnetized. So this is the end I'm going to pay attention to. Um, and I'm going to pull up my compass on my phone. And I'm going to line it up here. So I'm going to try to line it up as much as possible. So this is really right now pointing northwest. So not perfect. Um, and part of the thing going on here is a little bit of this wind. I'm going to set this on a few more. I feel like it's getting dragged down just a little bit. Make sure it's actually floating all the way. All right, so something I noticed when I was looking at this is like my surface isn't quite flat. Um, and once I flatten it out a little bit with my other hand, so something to keep in mind when you're making your compass, how important flat is. And if I line it up now, oh, I'm like right on when it was off the edge here. It's like wanting to be almost exactly north. So it's only a few degrees off. So that's one way to make it. Another way to make it is, and this is a little bit easier to get it floating, is if you have a sewing needle. So part of my problem was both it not quite being exactly flat surface, combined with the fact that it was um, not exactly straight. So in this Petri dish, it kind of wanted to hit the bottom. You can also use a deeper thing for water. Another alternative is use something that's a little bit flatter to begin with. So right here, I've got this 
sewing needle. So this one I um, magnetically charged with a much stronger magnet, the one in your kit. Um, and it was actually the other end. So you can see that I can keep on trying to turn it the other direction and it'll switch back. Um, another thing you can do is put this directly onto a flat piece of styrofoam as well. It's another option. You could also tape this on top instead of sticking it through the middle. And that's how you can make um, your compass. Um, these charges don't last. They will go away. Um, so this is something you need to keep on redoing. Um, and most people now have smartphones with their very own compass on it. So it's not exactly the survival skill that we need nowadays, but it's really cool to know how to do. All right. I hope you enjoyed this part of the um, Explorers Navigation Kit. And now I want to introduce you to our magnetic kits. Um, these are going to be our very first checkout kits that we're going to have on the shelf starting next week. I got this to accompany our Explorers Kit. So we learned a bit about magnetism. And what's really cool about this kit is it has a little bit more about Earth's magnetism, magnetic science, and how it works. Um, there are basically just a ton of different super cool magnets in here that you're going to get to play with. Um, this is magnetized as well as all of these. Something that I learned while going through this is that these uh, magnets are attracted to the opposite. So maybe this is where the same opposites attract come from. So the north of a magnet attracts to the south of another magnet. And that's why they come together the same repel each other. So these must both be the same poles, either north or south poles. What's cool about this is when they repel each other, they're stronger than gravity. Um, and you can do things like here, check this out. They all repel each other and it's really quite fun. Um, so this is really cool looking at how they repel each other and what that looks like as they float. Um, so these must be opposite poles. These must be the same poles, which is really cool. Um, there's a lot of different ways to play with this. We also have this, and this is all magnets. So even though these are round, these have a north and a south where they um, are repelling each other. Um, there are a ton of little tiny things. We have different magnets of different um, strengths. So this is really cool because this is um, magnetic filament. So kind of like iron fillings. When they're all together, they don't really have a charge. They, they cancel each other out. But... When you add a magnet to that, you start seeing that they do, and this is a little bit cooler in person, um, but it'll attract in different ways and different types of magnets. So the circular ones attract it in different ways than the square ones. So you can see like there's a little bit of a circular hole in there. So this is super fun to play with. Um, and there's a few different games in here as well as just exploring the science behind how all this works. So these checkout kits, we are going to have them forever. Uh, you can check them out for a week at a time um, and play around. They're actually going to be in a separate box, like our own specific checkout box. But this is something to look forward to. And I hope you enjoy this. This one really builds on our compass one. They actually even have a compass experiment in here. So they have a ton of other experiments so you can play around and learn more about magnetic science. I hope you enjoy and that you have a lot of fun with this. Bye.